It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Iger Brewery and it's a bottle of the Lionel Sour Cherry Rye. And this is coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. This brewery has got a fantastic brewery. It's got kind of all, I'm a, I'm a carpenter by trade. You, when you have a look at the pictures of this brewery on the internet, you've just got lovely shaped roofs and delicately, delicately done. It looks wonderful. Very Viking like. There's a look at the bottle cap. The beer is available from Ales by Mail. Please check out Ales by Mail in the description box of this video. I'll leave a link to their website. You can go and have a look. Maybe you can go and order this beer or any other beer that you want to order from Ales by Mail. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh yes, sour cherry rye. You can see the cherry in there. Look at the colour. Let's give it a little whirl. Let's get that. Rest of that beer in there. So slightly hazy, nicely carbonated. You can see the carbonation there making its way to the top of the glass. Look at that. It looks lovely. Slightly hazy, cherry red coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> oh yes, this is wonderfully sour. I think they've added lactose bacillus to this beer to kind of send the malt the other way. Uh, the malt wants to be sweet. When you add lactobacillus, which is a, a, a lactic acid to the beer, um, it, it, it's a it's a milk byproduct, by the way. Um, it stops the beer being sweet and it makes it sour, which is pretty bloody awesome. How on earth did a human being ever come up with that one? Who knows? So the aroma, yes, you can smell the sourness, you can smell the, the, the you smell the spicy rye. And yeah, you can smell that lovely cherry, mm -hmm. Lovely cherry flavour, that lovely cherry added to the beer. I'm ready to dive in. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's sour. Completely sour. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Cherry, sourness, it's quite dry, it's spicy, boom, the drinkability is amazing, 5.5% ABV, you could drink like, you could drink this like it was cherry squash, apart from it's really sour and your children might not like it too much. <laughs> I've had, I've had a few sips of this, I'm ready to put it down, and I'm ready to say, Stone the Crows, Christ on a Bicycle, what an amazing, amazing beer. Malty, bready, biscuity, <sighs> fantastic flavours coming through. There's a level of sweetness that underlines kind of just lurks underneath all of that sourness it's just crazy and then it goes over to being from wheaty and malty and bready and biscuity to being just super super sour super sour with a fantastic cherry finish that it's all in Norwegian I can't even begin to tell you what it says on the back of the bottle but that is a fantastic beer. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, 
Next thing I want to talk to you about, and apart from the sourness, apart from the cherry, apart from the wheat and the bready and the biscuity, the spiciness, it's the drinkability. And what ticks it all along is the carbonation. The carbonation is the unsung hero of this beer because it just kind of just fizzes on your palate. When it fizzes on your palate, it's a sensation. It's not a taste, it's a sensation. So it fizzes and then you have that sour taste that comes along quickly after. And it almost, it's almost too much for your mind. You know, your mind is almost going, oh, blimey, is this a drink? And then, and then within a the split second, if you're used to this style of beer, if you've had it before, your mind goes, yes, this is a drink. This isn't harming me. In fact, it's bloody good. And that's the carbonation and that's the sourness that does that. So one being a feeling, the carbonation, and one being a taste, the sourness, and that kind of that cherry in there. That's a very quick look at Eiger Brewery Lidl Sour Cherry Rye at 5.5% ABV. A great, great beer. Love it. You can pick the beer up from Ales by Mail. Check the link in the description box. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from me, Love Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers!